ASH is all about science, and we are already looking at what type of science we can expect next year in Atlanta for the annual meeting 2017. I'm joined now by Andy Weirich and Scott Armstrong, who are the co-chairs for the Scientific Committee. Give us some ideas, if you would, Andy, about uh, the procedure here. How do you start you know, putting it all together? So we basically have two sections, which is benign hematology and malignant hematology, where we start looking together. And for about the last six months or so, we've been actively working with our subcommittees, which we have about 19 or 20 in total, and they've been going over hot topics in the area, getting leaders in the field and going through the conversation piece on that. And so we are actually, today, we went through and talked to each one of them individually, and they're basically fine-tuning. And so we have a lot of exciting things on the, on the docket for 2017, and we're really, really excited about that. And Scott and I are also working on, and with other people on ASH, on kind of specific and kind of cutting edge topics that we'll be looking at both in the basic, basic and clinical research arena. Well, let's see if we can drill down a little bit, Scott. Give us some ideas of uh, what people can uh, start gelling in their minds that they want to take part in next year. Sure, so as we saw here at the meeting in 2016, the, the fields of genome editing, um, small molecule development, targeted therapy, and how genetics and genomics is being used to personalize those approaches. Uh, that was, was a significant topic here, and we think that's even going to be um, a, a bigger topic next year, mostly because the science really is now moving into the clinic and starting to make a difference in the way that we treat patients, both with benign hematology um, conditions and with hematologic malignancies. So there's tremendous excitement that this is going to continue. Um, technologies like genome editing are allowing us to um, think about approaches that we never could have imagined just five years ago. So I would expect even uh, between this year and next, things are going to have changed. It really is moving that rapidly. I was going to ask, with the change, I imagine you have to stay somewhat fluid in uh, what you have are saying today and what you may end up actually presenting tomorrow. That's absolutely right. I mean, the, the field is moving so fast that you have to be up on the literature, you have to be thinking about what everybody's doing, and I think it's, it's likely that some of the special sessions we propose will continue to evolve over the next couple months.